Hi and welcome to CCTV42. In this video we're going to look at using Cat5 cable to join the cameras to the DVR recorder. You'll need a pair of balance and also some Cat5 cable. If we look at a balance in detail we can see how one end has a standard BNC female connection and the other end has some screw terminals. Here we can see how the balance joins the BNC plug at the camera end. This shows an imaginary connection or link between the camera through the ballon to the other ballon plugged into the DVR with Cat5 cable in the middle. To prepare the Cat5 cable, first of all we need to find the rip cord contained within the cable. So slice along the length of the outer sheath and retrieve the rip cord. Grab a hold of the rip cord and pull it back along the cable length. Now you can separate the inner four pair wire from the outer sheath and we can see the Cat5 cable, that's the rip cord, that's the four pairs of wire and the outer protection. First thing we need to do is cut away the outer protection layer. Now clip away the rip cord. And finally remove the clear plastic protection and cut that away as well. And now you can start to unwind the four pairs of wires. Here we can see the four individual pairs. To connect to a ballon, all you have to do is open up one of the pairs and then screw the two wires into the back of the ballon. There's a positive and a negative, so make sure you remember which wire is connected to which part of the ballon. And at the DVR end, you'd repeat the process on the second ballon, and that would plug into the DVR recorder. Each Cat5 cable is capable of supporting four video signals. And here we can see the back of a DVR recorder with one ballon for each channel, and all four cameras going down a single length of Cat5 cable. And this is a pretty standard camera installation, so one ballon for video signal and the power being supplied locally using a standard transformer. Another option is to use the Cat5 cable to supply the DC power. Where you do this we always recommend you combine up the remaining three pairs of the Cat5 cable so as to reduce the voltage drop. You can see we've used our screw-in plugs and screw-in sockets to terminate the Cat5 cable for the DC power. So that's Cat5 cabling. My name's Henry, we're CCTV42. Many thanks for watching.